with a large latent demand, the need for technology intervention for enhanced gas production as well as production from unconventional sources becomes all the more important. Globally, unconventional gas reservoirs for CBM, Thai gas and shale gas are being commercially exploited, especially in United States, Canada, Australia, China, as government of India is making efforts to keep pace with the CBM industry, the coal bed methane industry, and also launch policies to bring India on the shale gas map of the world. Looking at the present constraint in domestic gas production, it's important to create the necessary infrastructure to cater to a rise in LNG imports. This also throws up attractive investment opportunities for setting up new LNG regasification terminals in the country. Pricing of gas is going to be a major issue as we go forward since the price at which LNG is available in the international market today is unaffordable to our anchor consumers like power and fertilizer. As you all know, India has made a voluntary commitment to reduce carbon emission by 20% by the year 2020. A step in the direction is to make clean fuels available to the population at large and with this objective, city gas distribution is being given high priority. The sector is gradually evolving and rapid growth is expected in coming years with more than 250 cities being targeted for CGD rollouts. Along with investors and project developers, city gas project development also offers opportunities for technology companies, other service and equipment providers. I am of the considered opinion that notwithstanding our desire to move to alternate and renewable source of energy, fossil fuels will continue to be the mainstay of India's energy basket in the short to medium term. However, with the decisive climate change policies, technological improvements in clean fuel technologies and plateauing fossil fuel supplies globally, the share of clean energy will probably increase. Given its huge domestic market, with a consuming class that is close to a third of its billion plus population, the next phase of our economic growth and competitiveness will depend to a large extent on, on how we move forward in the energy sector, making judicious use of our resources, coupled with an aggressive and diplomacy for ensuring affordable clean energy supplies to the Indian consumer. I can assure you that as far as policy making is concerned, the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas will continue to push ahead on the current path of reforms which will make the oil and gas sector even more investor friendly than it has been than it is.